Units in AutoCAD are easily changeable from the Drawing Units window, where you can access it by typing the command units. Here we can change the type, precision, or set the units of the project. So this is pretty easy when the file is still empty. The problem is, when we have drawings in the file and we want to change the units, for example, from millimeters to inches, how can we do it? That's exactly what we will learn in this tutorial, having this drawing as our example. Ok, in this example we have an architectural project, made in millimeters. If we measure any section, for example, in this laundry room, you can see one of the sizes is 2050 millimeters, which is quite acceptable. Now, suppose you are in the United States and need all this drawing in inches. One of the things you may need to change is the drawing units. On type, usually people that use the metrical system, this option is always set to decimal. However, for imperial units, it's common to use either decimal, architectural or even engineering. So, let's say I'm going to use architectural with precision 1 per 16. Then, the option below, I change it to inches. Click on OK and close the window. And now we can measure again the same dimension, but you can see that what we did is not enough. Now this value is really huge, 170 inches. So now we have to scale all the drawing. So, the next step is to select all the objects that I have in the project. And to make sure that's going to happen, I have first to unlock and turn on all the layers and then, instead of open a selection window, it's better to click on the icon Select all the objects located here at the Utilities panel. The reason I'm doing this way is that we may have objects far away that we forget to cover with the selection window or if I have hidden objects, they select anyway when I click on Select All and by just selecting in the screen it doesn't work. So I'm going to activate the command scale. For the base point, let's pick up the origin. I'm going to type the coordinate 0 for the X coordinate, press tab and type 0 again for the Y coordinate. Now to convert millimeters to inches, we need to type the scale factor. So 1 inch is 25.4 millimeters. But we don't want that, what we need is the opposite, which is 1 mm corresponds approximately 0.03937 inches. Although I can type that value with the accuracy more than fine, to make the conversion 100% accurate, we have to type apostrophe CAL to be able to insert a formula here in the scale factor. Otherwise, AutoCAD won't accept the formula. Now I can type 1 divide per 25.4 and press enter. Everything is now resized. Everything? No, the text on the dimension lines wasn't. As in this file, the dimensions are notative, the sizes have to be fixed on the dimension style manager. I will show you that after, but for now I'm going to switch off the dimension layer and by measuring any distance, you can check out that the sizes are now correct and in inches. To convert a file automatically to a different unit, there is a method that it does it automatically. The system variable DWG units. It's the easiest way, however it has some little issues, but let's see how it works. I'm going to type DWG units and press enter. Now, as you can see, this list opens from the command bar and we need to answer several questions here by inserting the number of the option that we want. First, we want to change the units to inches. So I'm going to type 1 and press enter. Then I have to specify the format and these are the same options that you can see on the unit properties window. I choose architectural. For the precision, let's say I want 1 per 16 and then I answer yes to scale objects from other drawings and to match those units, if I am inserting a block for example from a different drawing. 
Then, scale objects in current drawing. This one is very important. And if I answer yes, AutoCAD just makes the conversion of all the objects automatically, even if some are hidden or in frozen layers. Then, for the objects in the paper space, I say yes as well. And now look that the drawing was resized down 25.4 times. Another good thing is that this conversion also applies to the sizes of the elements in the dimension lines. Something that doesn't work if you scale the objects by yourself. Now look, if I measure a distance, it displays in inches and with the architectural type. Now let's go to the paper space. And as you remember, we have chosen the option yes before in scaling objects here. What happened is that they became too small comparing to the paper size, as this one is set in millimeters. So I'm going to change the paper to 1 in inches. Go to the Page Setup Manager, modify the current layout, and from this list, I'm going to choose this NCB because it's similar to the current A3. Then here don't forget to set that 1 inch equals to 1 unit. I click on OK. And you can see the paper is resized, but the title block does not fit here exactly because this paper in inches is slightly smaller than the A3 paper in millimeters. So, the next step is to resize the title block. Ok, in this situation I have three viewports and a title block at the right. First, I'm going to explode the block to be able to move the objects inside the margins. Then, I also need to adjust each viewport to fit all of them inside the big rectangle. Also, in this multi-line text, a little problem happened here. They were scaled correctly, but the width is too short, so I have to increase each of them to avoid having text overlapping each other. Finally, regarding each viewport, I have to do the following. First, unlock it. Do Zoom Extends to see all the drawings here. Put the drawing that I need in the center. And finally, set the proper scale. When this is done, you just have to repeat the same for the other viewports. Ok, now we finished the conversion from millimeters to inches both in the workspace and in this layout paper. But now you realize that the scales are still in the metrical system. Here in this case, 1 per 100 and the viewports below 1 per 20 each. As the imperial system uses a different types of scales, we can change to an equivalent scale and there are some conversion tables you can find over the internet. With the same example, this time simplified with just one viewport, I'm going to show you how to change the current scale to an equivalent one in inches. First, make sure the viewport is active. On the scale list, go to Custom. Then click on Add a new scale. And now, as you could see in the table before, the closest scale to 1 per 100 is 1 inch to 8 feet. I set those properties of the scale and click on OK. Then change to the new scale. And, oh, the dimensions disappeared. And it happened because they are annotative. So what we should do is in the previous step, turn on the option. Add scales to annotative objects when the annotation scale changes. Then I click on 1 inch to 8 feet. And you can see the dimensions are still there and readjusted the size because I add the current scale to all these dimensions. A final thought. Notice that the values on the dimension lines show up in decimals. To change this setting, it's on the Dimension Style Manager, modify the annotate style and in the Primary Units tab, you can change the unit format to display them in architectural.
click on OK and you can see now the result. Now I want to show you an alternative option you could do here. It's keeping the current units in millimeters without converting the full project and just change the dimension lines to inches. This option could be great if you just want to print a project to show to the client, for example, so you don't have to bother changing everything. Now, the process is simple. Go to the Dimension Style Manager, choose the dimension style you need and click on Modify and go to Primary Units. To change the units from millimeters to inches, I can change the unit format here if I need. I know some people still use the decimal format in inches, but I'm going to change it. Let's set architecture again with the precision till the inch. And finally, I need to change the scale factor. This is mandatory, otherwise it doesn't work. And to convert millimeters to inches, we have to type 0 0.03937. Click on OK and the dimensions are displayed in inches now. Another option is going to alternative units and here what we do is keeping the original units, the primary units in millimeters, check this box, edit the unit format and precision as you want, ah, and make sure you put the conversion factor here, and display the dimensions in inches, in parentheses, at the right of each value. So it was everything for today, but this time before leaving, I want to mention that I just started a page on Patreon for Kevin Black. There you can support this channel to help me keep creating more content here. I would really appreciate that. Even of course, I'm already grateful that you find these videos available and that they are helping you to speed up your knowledge. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible. So, thank you very much for watching, see you next time!